Well, again, there are thousands of papers written about self-awareness, and I have to make a definition in one sentence. Now, my definition is very simple. Self-awareness is when you put yourself in that model. So this model of, uh, your, of space, your relationship to other humans, and then relationship to time, when you put yourself in that model, that is self-awareness. And then you ask a question, well, are robots self-aware? Well, the answer is obviously no. When the robot uh, Watson beat two humans on the game show Jeopardy on national TV, many people thought, oh, oh the robots are coming, they're going to put us in zoos, they're going to throw peanuts at us and make us dance behind bars, just like we do that with bears. Wrong. Watson has no sense of self-awareness. You cannot go to Watson and slap it on his back and say, good boy, good boy, you just beat two humans on Jeopardy. Look, Watson doesn't even know that it's a computer. Watson doesn't know what a human is. Watson doesn't even know that it won this, this prize of beating two humans on a game show. Because it does not have a model of itself as a, as a machine, a model of humans as being made out of flesh and blood. And it doesn't have the three categories of, of intelligence other than understanding space and being able to navigate facts on the internet. So again, self-awareness, I have to define it. Self-awareness is when you put yourself in this model of, of space, time, and a relationship to others.